So, hi, I'm Iana, and uh, I'm from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press, and I'm here with... William Conlon, director of Making Apes. Tom Berman. Lou Wagner, uh, Lucius in the First Planet. Okay, so you directed, you produced, and you wrote some of it, I understand. Um, so, how much of the story did you guys, you know, know before you started making the film, and then how much did you kind of discover? It was really a process of discovery along the way. We spent four years working on this. We interviewed over 50 people, so the story developed over time. The key thing for us was to preserve these stories, because a lot of these makeup artists were in their 80s when we started interviewing them. So the story really came along once we heard what they had to tell us. That sounds really awesome. Um, so, give me a quick synopsis of the film. For yes, so it's a feature-length documentary about the makeup artists, including Tom, who changed cinema with the original Planet of the Apes by creating the simian makeups worn by actors including Roddy McDowell and Lou Wagner. Okay, so um, was there any particularly, you know, difficult things that you ran into in the making of this? In the making of Planet of the Apes, you mean? Um, in, in the making of this documentary, specifically. I think, I think really just encapsulating it into 90 minutes was our biggest challenge, because we had over 100 hours of interview footage. Tom has an amazing story. Lou has an amazing story. So just figuring the balance of how to tell all this in one film, we're going to have a lot of bonus content along the way. <laughs> wow. Um, now, what about Planet of the Apes? Any difficult parts of that? Well, it had never been done before. It all had to be invented. So do you feel like you kind of created a segue for other, you know, makeup artists? It literally did change film in the United States. It changed the way directors looked at scripts, the way script writers wrote scripts, because it gave you total possibilities that they never thought of before. And producers could now purchase those scripts. So it changed it. If you look at the early 1970s, all the films, including through, up through Star Wars, probably never would have happened if it wasn't for Planet of the Apes. What kind of message do you hope people will get out of this documentary? We want people to really appreciate makeup as an art form. We want people to understand that makeup isn't going anywhere. A lot of people think CGI is where it's at right now, but it's really a blend of both. And you look at this year's Academy Award nominees for makeup, they are all films that incorporate both makeup and CGI. So there's a relationship between the two. Tell, I don't remember that you remember the number. What is the number of people that worked on Planet of the Apes and the people that we, we documented in this thing? There's how many Academy Awards? We have 46 nominations and 25 winners among the people in the documentary. Well, that's really... ...winners that came out of that from, that, from making that film. If you name a film from the last 50 years, somebody in, involved in that film has an influence from Planet of the Apes, chances are one of the makeup artists worked on that original film. Now, do you yourself have any background in makeup? No, I'm a documentary filmmaker. I, I believe thoroughly that m many times the stories of what happened behind the scenes are just as interesting as the movies that you ended up seeing on the screen. So I wanted to tell this story. I wanted to tell Tom's story and Lou's story. And I want people to have an appreciation of these incredible artists who changed film. Wow. You know, for Planet of the Apes, it was a fabulous film. It was a great script. Fabulous actors, wonderful director, and and um, Jerry Goldsmith was did wonders on the film. But without the makeup artists, the film would have fallen flat. It wouldn't have worked. So that's how important this film is to tell the story of how important the makeup artists are on a film, and especially this film. Thank you so much for your time.